Welcome to day number three of Wake Up With Joe. If you're feeling tired, sluggish, a little bit stressed, you are gonna feel a million times better by the end of this workout. It's nice and simple, 15 different exercises. We're gonna do 35 seconds on each move, followed by a 25 second rest, and I'm gonna kick things off with a nice, simple three minute workout. So follow along with me as we go. First one is just open up the gates. So lift the knee up and out, open up those hips. We're just gonna get our body ready for the first exercise because we are gonna do some new moves today which are quite dynamic and I don't want you pulling a muscle or injuring yourself. So just lift up and out, up and out, perfect. Next I'm gonna do, we're gonna hug the knee. So bring the knee up to the chest, hug the knee and lunge and repeat. So bring that knee to the chest, hug the knee, lunge, good, do a few on each side, hug the knee, lunge, up the knee, lunge, and relax. Next one is down on the ground into a sort of a plank position, open up the chest. So one, two, three, four, let's do six, five, six, and rest. Good, now I'm gonna come onto all fours like this, and I'm gonna do nice big circles, so lift your arm up, and draw a nice big circle with your shoulder, rotate and back. Good, and repeat. Up, rotate. Let's do one more on that side. So arm comes straight up, draw a big circle whilst rotating that palm so it's facing away, and just reverse. Same again, left arm. Up, oh. You might find that the shoulders are tight, a little bit clicky. Good, same again, up, rotate. Good, last one on this arm. Up, rotate, and back. Next one in this position, you're gonna step your foot to the side of your hands, and just put your hands on the ground, and just, if you need, you can keep the knee on the ground, but if you can, come up, feet it open up, your hip flexor and your hip joint in the front. Just hold that for five, four, three, two, one, and swap. Other one, so again, you can put the knee on the ground if you want, if not, activate it by lifting the knee off the ground. Keep your hands on the ground though. So you'll feel that stretching your hip flex there, but also open up this front hip. Good, hold that a few more seconds. Three, two, one. Come into a downward dog. Again, just walking those heels to the ground. Five, four, Three, two, one, and stand up. Next one, couple of little twists to the right, left and right, rotate. Okay, so we're now gonna start with our first exercise, which is gonna be a little lateral shuffle. So you're just gonna go left to right, and the fingertips hit the ground, off we go. So left, right, this is exercise number one. We're doing 35 seconds. So left, right, Left, right, and then we stop and we rest for 25. Come on. Remember, move your body. The quicker you move, the higher your heart rate's gonna go. You're gonna burn more energy, and you're gonna feel better at the end of it. 10 seconds. Left to right. Five, four, three, two, one. And rest, recover. Next time we're gonna do a lateral bear crawl. Now, Essentially what we're gonna do on all fours like this. If you can't do this, just do a plank, okay? Just hold the plank like this. If you want a bit of a challenge, you're gonna walk your hands and feet to the left, to the right. So it's a lateral bear crawl, off we go. So if you can't do this, just hold a plank. So your knees are staying close to the ground. Pull to the left. So you'll feel this in your quads, but it's really working your core and your upper body, your shoulders, your chest, and triceps. Come on, last few seconds. Keep walking, just keep those knees close to the ground, and walk those hands across. Oh, it's quite advanced, it's a tough move. Don't be disheartened if you can't do that, if it hurts your wrist. 
You can just do alternate, just hold a plank or hold an elbow plank and an alternate to that one. Oh. Okay, up we get. Next one, 90 degree squat jumps. Now, you, if you can't do the jumps like this, just do squats and turn. Off we go, so squat and turn. If you want to make it tougher, you jump. So jump one direction, do a full circle, and then alternate. And go back the other way. Oh, that one burns, isn't it? 15 seconds. Jump and twist. Oh, same again. Last five. Oh, I'm relaxed. Ouch. All right, shake legs off. Next one we're going to do, number four, is front kicks. So hands up like this. Now a slow version is just a kick. One at a time like this. Faster version is when you jump into there. Kick, kick. So either or, let's go. Right, so, oh. Right, kick. Kicking those legs out in front. If that's too difficult, just kick one at a time. Try and kick high, as high as you can. Then you can pick it up a little bit. Kick. Come on. Keep going. Last few seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah. Oh, I've got to turn that time up to the side, I can't see it. Um, oh, let's finish my third. Okay, recover. Next thing I want to do is wide push-ups. So, on your knees if you like. We're not going to go now, we're going to go nice and wide. Down and up. So wide grip push-ups. Let's go. So you can do it from the knees, or full push-ups off the knees if you want. Just get that hand position, sort of over-exaggerate, go super wide. Come on. 15 minute, wake up with Joe. Day number three. Well then if you've completed all three days so far, if you haven't, you can go back and start one and two. It's one a week, sorry. It's one every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Three workouts a week. Oh, relax. Brand new, all different, mixing things up, different challenges, different moves to really kind of, you know, shake it up, wake you up and get you moving and feeling good. Right, number six. Combination of punches. Now we're going to go jab, jab, cross, hook, uppercut, knee, knee. So it's jab, jab, cross, hook, uppercut, knee, knee. Off we go. Jab, jab, cross, hook, uppercut, knee, knee. And repeat that. Knee, knee, jab, jab, cross, hook, uppercut, knee. Let's do it in time together. Jab, jab, cross, hook, uppercut, knee. And again, jab, jab, cross, hook, uppercut, knee. Keep going. Jab, jab, cross, hook, uppercut, knee, knee. Last combo, last one. Jab, jab, cross, uppercut, knee, knee. And relax. Oh, right. Okay, deep breaths. Next exercise, we're gonna do lateral sprints. So basically gonna to run to the left and right. So lifting those knees up. Knee up. One, two, three, four, five, six. So lift up, use the width of the room. Let's go, one, two, three, four, five, six. Just go left to right. Really lift those knees up, like over exaggerate the knee. Up, high, 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 high. Pull the knees up, come on. 15 seconds. Come on. Last one. Oh, I'm so hot. Right. Okay. 
Good drink. That was hard, that one. Right, next one is ski hops. <coughs> so, essentially, imagine there's a, like a tree trunk down there through the middle of the room, and you're gonna hop over it. So hop, left, to right, left, to right. If that's too tough, just step over like that, okay? That's less impact on the joints. Step, step or jump, jump over it. Jump. So get that height clear, the height of that tree trunk. Five seconds on the clock. Four, three, two, one. Ah. Right, okay, next up. These workouts go quick, well, number nine already, nine and 15, so they do go fast. Next up is thrusters. This is a savage one. Two options, walk the feet in like this. That's a slow version, or jump them in. Okay, so jump. Come on. Jump the feet in, out, in, out. That's too intense, just step them in. Step out, step in. Ah, oh, struggling. 10 seconds. Come on, four, three, two, ah. Oh. Recover, relax. Number 10, down on the ground, full body crunch. Oh, that's a hard one. Oh. Okay, so, nice straight body like this. Crunch, stretch, crunch. The stretch and crunch, that's too difficult. Just keep your feet on the ground. Good. Come on. Nice deep breath, don't hold your breath. 10 seconds. Stretch and crunch. Last one. Okay, right, listen. It's gonna be tough this last five minutes now. We're gonna do a hit, hit style sprint. So imagine on a treadmill, you're on a hill, you're just sprinting up as quick as you can. 35 second sprint, 25 second recovery, five of these. This is gonna really elevate our heart rate now. You ready? Let's do this, come on. Come on, 35 seconds. Come on, lift those knees up. Come on, sprint. I really want to push you now. I want you to be well out of breath by the end of this. Elevate that heart rate. Come on. 20 seconds. Don't slow down. Speed up. 10 seconds. Deep breath. Well done. Oh, it's buckled me, that's... Okay, deep breaths. We go again, same again. I know it's tough. Trust me, the harder you push now, the greater you're going to feel at the end of it. The better you're going to feel, I promise you. Five seconds time. Maintain that intensity. Come on. Come on. Imagine you're on a treadmill. You're on a running track. You're sprinting now as quick as you can. Max, max effort. Go, faster, 20 seconds. Come on, heart rate, elevate that heart rate now. 10, 10 seconds now, go. Five, four, three, two. Oh. So I'm running on spot, no equipment, and my heart rate's 182. 
that's like higher than I get on a peloton or on a treadmill. That's, that goes to show you do not need equipment to get that high intensity. Okay, number three, come on. Three and five, come on. Finish strong now. Keep going, a nice tough, a nice hard. Trust me, the endorphins at the end of this are coming. They're coming, I promise you. Those chemicals in your brain, they're coming for you. Come on. 20 seconds. Oh, I'm struggling. 15, come on, go, speed up. Get that sweat on. 10 seconds. Oh. Well done. Two more of them. Come on, two more, last two. This is probably the hardest one we've done so far. Heart rate is up there now. 10 seconds, get the air in your lungs. Final two pushes, final two efforts. Come on, I want the same speed on this last one as you had on the first one, come on. Work now, work hard, come on, 25 seconds. We got this. Ah. Tell you what, if you weren't awake when you started this, you will be now. Come on, 15 seconds. 10 second push, turbo, come on, turbo speed's finished. Five, four, three, oh, burn out then. One more, final one. Final one, heart rate is up there, man. 15 seconds. See what I mean about 15 minutes, is it enough? It is, it is enough when you train like this. Last one, give me everything you got now. Finish on a high. Come on. This is it, last one. Last push. Remember, every workout's gonna be different. There's gonna be different challenges each week. I wanna push you. I wanna get you fitter and stronger. Imagine if you come out of this fitter and healthier. You can. Come on. Last 15. Go to the bell, go to the bell. To the bell, come on. Right, faster, speed up. Speed, speed, push. Five, four, three, two. Oh. Is it enough 15 minutes to do the last? I'm absolutely knackered. Oh. Well done, three minute warm up, 15 minute hit, sweating. Working hard, endorphins are coming, they're coming for you. Well done, thank you for taking part. That is the end of week number one. Remember, it's every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, 6 a.m., new workout right here. If you've got more energy, you wanna go and find another workout, there's abs finishes, there's kettlebells, there's dumbbells. There's over 300 workouts on this channel which you can use at any time. So, use this time positively. You don't need equipment. Look how out of breath we are, look how knackered we are. We've worked so hard with no gym, no equipment, it's always there for you, so always turn to it. When you feel rough, when you feel low, when you feel tired, always know that energy exercise will give you energy. It's gonna change your mood and, and give you such a better day. So well done, thanks again. Have a good stretch, drink plenty of water, and I'll see you Monday for day number four of Wake Up With Joe. Good luck.